Good afternoon and welcome to Holy Family. Please join in singing our gathering song, number 606, Glory and Praise to Our God. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. We the daughters and sons of him who built the valleys and plains. Praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. In his wisdom he strengthens us like gold that's tested in fire. Though the power of sin prevails, our God is there to save. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. Jesus promised that the spirit of truth would remain with us. In that spirit, let us give God thanks and praise. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to our celebration of Eucharist on the sixth Sunday of Easter. And so to prepare ourselves, we pause and once again calling to mind our faults and failings, asking God for his mercy and his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, risen Savior, you revealed God's love for sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, risen Savior, you died on the cross for sin. Christ have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, risen Savior, you rose from the dead for salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten. 
Martin son Lord God Lamb of God Son of the Father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand the right hand of the father have mercy on us glory to god glory to god glory to god in the highest and on earth peace on earth peace to people of good will for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. This was great joy in that city. Now when the, apostle, the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Responsorial Psalm is number 59. the 
praise of God's name, proclaiming forever, tremendous your deeds. Let all the earth cry out in joy to the Lord. Let all the earth cry out in joy to the Lord. Leading your people safe through fire and water, bringing their souls to life. We sing of your glory. Your love is eternal. Let all the earth cry out in joy to the Lord. Let all the earth cry out in joy to the Lord. Hearken to me as I sing my love of the Lord, who answers the prayer of my heart. God leads me in safety from death unto life. Let all the earth cry out in joy to the Lord. Let all the earth cry out in joy to the Lord. To the Lord. reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, who those who defame your good conduct in Christ may put themselves to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if it be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God, put to death in the flesh. He was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. According to St. John.
Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another, another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me, and whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. good friends. During this wonderful time of Easter, we continue to hear about many of the events that took place in those early days following the resurrection of Jesus. And today we hear the story of how Philip goes to Samaria. Now for the Jewish people, Anyone coming from Samaritan was looked down upon because, in a certain way, they were renegade Jewish people. And by that I mean they had left the Jewish religion and followed the pagan religion, perhaps due to a marriage, which automatically excluded them from the Jewish religion community. And that was the custom, the culture of the day. And so Philip goes to this little town in Samaria, and he begins to proclaim Jesus, what he said, what he did, and how he suffered. And because of his suffering and death, resurrection, all are now welcome and open to come to the kingdom of God. And of course, when the people heard this, they had some doubts, they had some questions. But be that as it may, they embraced the message of Philip, which was and is the message of Jesus. And so we can picture them coming forward to be baptized in the name of Jesus. And many who had gathered embraced this new way, this new religion. And they learned more about it and were faithful to the observance. Of course, in those days, there was no internet, no high-speed communication. So word got back to Jerusalem, to Peter and the apostles, that the Samaritans, the outcasts, had embraced the faith of Jesus. And there was great joy in the community in Jerusalem. And so Peter and John make the journey to Samaria. And there they encounter this new community of Christians. They inquired, have you received the Holy Spirit? Well, majority of them never heard of the Holy Spirit. And through instruction and guidance, Peter explained what it was all about. 
And he could see on their faces the acceptance, the willingness to witness, to live the teachings of Jesus. And so together with John, they prayed for these people. And they extended their hands to invoke the Spirit upon them. And indeed, the Spirit came and inspired them, continued to encourage them to proclaim what God had spoken along with what they were taught. Again, it mirrors the miracle of Pentecost when 3,000 embraced the teaching of Jesus. And it's wonderful to read and to reflect on these early days of the church. Indeed, they were halcyon days. They were days of joy and happiness when those living in the Christian communities reached out in love, concern for their fellow Christians. They shared many things in common. So those who did not have received from those who have. And again, this became a bond. The community was looking out for each other. And so too, as we reflect on the teachings in the life of Jesus, he too was looking out, not only for the Jewish people, but he was looking out and trying to convince all those who believed otherwise. And we know it was difficult for the Hebrew people to change because they had a history of doing things, observing all the Jewish commands in a special way. Now, they preach a new commandment something different, but really it wasn't different, that they were up to observe the commands that Jesus taught. And accordingly, little by little, they grew into this wonderful Christian community. And the command that we read so often, as Jesus tells us, this is my commandment. Love one another. Do good for one another. Don't hold grudges or purposely do things to hurt your neighbor, but to embrace them and to show them by your example what the kingdom of God is all about. And I'm sure we look out over the world today and see the turmoil, the strife, those fighting one another, those degrading others. And for what? Only to end up, as they say, being ashamed of what they are doing. Instead of reaching out to the whole community. Whether we agree with them or not, it is incumbent upon us as Christian people to love those around us. And by that, that love to be extended to all people. This is the challenge of being a Christian today, to live to the best of our ability, according to our talents and so forth, that we work to love one another in the same spirit that Jesus loves each of us. We think about that. No matter who you are, 
what you are, what you have done, Jesus still reaches out in love, concern, and compassion for you. And that is the beauty of our faith in the teachings and the life of Jesus. This is how he lived. He accepted the sinner, the publican, the tax collector, and even he accepted and reached out to the chief priests and the scribes, and even he reached out to Pilate. He reached out to all those who called for his death. Think about that. Could any one of us do the same? But that's the goal, my friends. Love one another as Jesus loves us. And for us to make that love he has for us active and vibrant and dynamic, we have to share it with our brothers and sisters. Love by itself, as we say, is an abstract concept. We have to make it real for all our brothers and sisters. And we do that by sharing with them, by reaching out to those in need, helping those less fortunate than ourselves, but working together in that spirit, that bond of love, we can do great things. This morning I had the privilege of witnessing the confirmation of our young people as they received the spirit. So too, we hope, and the bishop encouraged them to let the Spirit of God fill their lives. And that's really what happened at Pentecost when the tongues of fire came down on the apostles. It unloosed, it freed them from the past. And now they had the opportunity and the command to begin something new. They were not scholarly people. Perhaps as someone in management did a study of the twelve apostles, strange enough, there was only one who would measure up to today's standards. Only one. Wasn't Peter, John, James, Caius, Barnabas? It was Judas, the Iscariot. And according to these personnel managers, he was the one who had the smarts. And what good? Did the smarts do him when he turned traitor? And he ended up in despair, loss of hope, and he hung himself. And perhaps in his mind he said, I've done something so bad that no one can forgive me. Whereas Peter, who was warned that he would deny Jesus three times, he said, never, never, never will I deny you, Jesus. But he did three times. 
and realizing what he had done, he repented there. And as Jesus looked at him, according to the gospel accounts, he could see the forgiveness of Jesus. The same could have been true of Judas. And so we hear these wonderful accounts of St. John, how Jesus teaches this new commandment. And as we accept his new commandment to love one another as I have loved you, so too it fills our lives with a new purpose, with a new goal, with something that we can reach out to, strive to attain. <coughs> and we do reap the reward, as Jesus said. If we keep his commandments and observe them, that is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love him and reveal myself to him through the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us join together as we proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, one and three. For him things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. Rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident of your loving care for all of us in the church, O oh Father, we offer these prayers for your people every. Our sung response is, hear our prayer, hear our prayer, God of mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer, hear our prayer, God of mercy, hear our prayer, hear our prayer. church, that we might live in Christ and show all the world the love of God the Father.
for world leaders that they may accept the message of the spirit of truth and learn to govern their nations with compassion and justice. For our engaged couples, focus facilitators at Holy Family Parish, give them the gifts needed to be able to engage engaged couples their mentor. For children who live in poverty, may they be protected from harm and receive the assistance they need to develop their unique gifts and talents to their fullest potential. So they lead lives which make a difference in the world and give glory to God. For all who have died this week, Rita Behrens, Viola Casper, Jerome Fox, Mary Kruger, Nikki Ann Langoff, Ambrose Leacher, Patricia Schneide, and especially for those remembered at this Mass, Jerry and Joan Kramer. And all our own personal petitions. We pray. Hear our prayer, hear our prayer. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, your Holy Spirit speaks for us. Grant what our advocate inspires us to ask. In the name of the risen Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our hymn for the preparation of the gifts is number 784. We have been told, number 784.
my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings together with these sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes. Comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. We proclaim when your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess and your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, and his auxiliary bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for yourself. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <coughs> Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, formed by a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us, us. And, and lead us not, not to temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us, us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Thank you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Thank you.
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. <clears throat> Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not am worthy here. that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. way of announcements and reminders. After Mass today, stop by the Fair Trade cart in the narthex to purchase coffee, tea, and chocolate. Your purchase ensures that talented farmers have the right to dignified work in the developing world and are able to improve their lives. This is the third Sunday of the month. And we ask that all those who are celebrating an anniversary this month stand and receive a blessing. Anniversaries, birthdays, whatever. As you celebrate these wonderful milestones in your life, we know that with the help of God and the love you have for each other, will continue to grow each and every day as we all place our trust in the Lord. And so congratulations to all, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon all and remain forever. Amen. Let's congratulate these wonderful people. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament. Pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our closing song is number 807, We Are Called. Shine with the joy and the love of the Lord. We are called to be light for the kingdom, to live in the freedom of the city of God. We are called to act with justice. We are called to love tenderly. We are called to serve one to walk humbly with God. Come, open your heart. Show your mercy to all those in fear. We are called to be hope for the hopeless. 
small hatred and blindness will be no more. We are called to act with justice. We are called to love tenderly. We are called to serve one another, to walk humbly.